Hey, Iceman here, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're doing pretty good. Repelled a group, we're rebuilding from it. We gotta clean up a little bit. We just expanded our freezer section for our Nightlings, so they'll have some uh, extra bodies to work with. And we have been strip mining the heck out of this space, and I'm sure I'm missing some spots, but uh, we'll keep checking it as they go and getting a lot of good resources out of that area. We have a quest that we're going to try and take here shortly. We've got about two days remaining before it goes away. Uh, I'm hoping to get a few more traps built before these mech clusters drop in. Actually, it looks like all the traps have been built. Uh, they are moving far faster than I'm used to. Uh, so we'll probably check that quest out here in just a minute. If you've liked the series, uh, like what you're watching, hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, if you like the video, that helps the metrics on it and uh, gets it promoted a little bit better so more people come along and watch it. Uh, there's a playlist available, and you can head all the way back to the beginning to see how we got here. Uh, quite a bit to catch up on, but it's enjoyable along the way. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so we know that this looks like it's done. Uh, let's take one quick look at Sabar here to get an idea if he's someone we should try and keep. It's going to be difficult to try and take. How's his health? Did we beat him up too much? Not too bad. He is really good in melee. He's a good doctor, but I just don't think we're going to eat through that resistance. We're going to release him when he's ready. Okay, this is probably a terrible choice. But we have the opportunity to make almost 40,000 uh, silver in value. Uh, we have to watch this guy for 25 days. We do get 10 elite mercenaries that will be under our control. Uh, <coughs> terrible? I don't know. I also don't know if uh, so they're all going to land here. I don't know. Oh. So I know. Oh, none of them work. <laughs> Okay, well that kind of sucks a little bit. So he's the guy that we care about. And we'll see. I don't know when those mech clusters drop. I have no idea. And I hope it's not like now. Because Reynolds is out and about. And I did forget that we had some cleanup to do down here before we accepted that. But um, the animals should blitz down here right after he strips all, all of those. The animals should be down here to clean that up here shortly. Uh, so my guess is over the course of the 25 days... Um, we will get two mech clusters. I don't know what that means yet. Hopefully they're not the terrible ones. Uh, hopefully they don't land in the dead middle of our base. But uh, we can be prepared for them if we need to. What are they doing? What is wrong? That is weird. So they're like picking up the bottle and dropping the bottle. There we go. Okay, something something was weird with maybe how they landed. Ten colonists are idle. Well, there's not a lot I can do about it, but we have some uh, elite defenders. Along. I wonder, did they have... Uh, they have a little bit of alcohol tolerance. Uh, they all have the death acidifier. Where is the fun in that? Then I can't take all their stuff and sell it to people later when they die. Because I'm going to send them in right into the mech. <laughs> the mech swarms when they come. Hey, I didn't realize this. We had a tree spawn. It's way the heck out here. Uh, and I don't think we're going to set it for anything. But that's pretty cool. I didn't know we had that. Uh, so we had a super bloom. Brawler has a ranged weapon. Well, I can't do anything about that now, can I? Do I even? I don't even know that I have enough bedrooms, technically. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all unowned. Six unowned. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I do have enough beds. I am surprised. I guess that helps that we have a lot of uh, partners, so that helps us do that. So, another quest. Uh, Dimitri, the Prime Counselor of Aquayam says that his friend has been wounded while traveling. The victim is Cohen, a 59 Glitter World officer. Uh, nobody's spared to rescue, but says that if you can make it to rescue her, she will join you, says there's uh, where. It's a little bit of a hike, and we're currently protecting your other stuff. How many, how many days? Nine days. We're going to let that sit for a little bit while we deal with this current. 
situation. We are still in this volcanic. Thanks, revenge. Hmm. We are still in this volcanic winter. Forgot to mention that at the beginning of all this. So Dragon is picking a fight with a lynx. And done. Some extra meat. So let's see. Uh, yeah, 27 days in this volcanic winter. And our food's kind of dwindling out here. Due to bad temperature. We are going to have a wedding in some <laughs> a random bedroom. Congratulations. Let them all have some fun. Alright, uh, Kristen Rabano. And. Okay, yay, they're married! Using your long range mineral scanner, Kristen has found a lump of gold ore nearby. Uh, that's not too far, but we're again, we're stuck in this quest, and as soon as you send them, uh, you've, it's 30 days though, so we've got some time on that. Uh, same as this quest is probably going to, let's see, 22 days. Um, I'd like Cohen. Looks like he managed to get back up, but it's just, it's... It's pretty far away for uh, the fact that we might have some mech clusters landing in here. And if it lands inside, I want as many people capable as possible. You know, I take that back. I forgot that we have ten of their people. Why don't we take this quest? Um, so on here, we're going to create a caravan. And we probably should take some money just in case you never know when there's something to trade or if we have to try and veer off to get food if we run out. So choose route. We're going to go and try and do this. It estimated travel is three days. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, maybe because of this path we get a little bit of an advantage on that. So we can choose the route on there. Uh, that's fine. Perfect. We'll do that. I like this. Because we have the extra ten people. It's Finley that's mining. Good, we're not taking Finley. They will want to take Philly on, Finley on the mining mission uh, because he'll just mine all the gold up for us. But that mission is a little ways off right now. Caravan's on its way. Out into the world. Got a ways to go. Negative 100. Negative 100. Positive. They're good. They might be someone to go chat with. Surprisingly, that Orion installation hasn't bothered us. Knock on wood. Small rune spotted nearby. Uh, Verse Caravan spotted a bunch of destroyed buildings. Of course we'll investigate. What, are you crazy? What do we got? I don't really see anything. Makes me wonder if there's a fox. I don't see anything coming after them either. Nope, don't move up. What are you doing? Okay. So, uh, hold on. Does that mean I can just reform the caravan and move on? From what I can tell. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like, so we'll just uh, reform. It could have been worth more. Uh, we'll just not slow down and continue on. Could have been more interesting. Interesting. Must have been a fire down here, and it destroyed all of their walls, or shields, I guess. And so now there's a ton of steel just sitting there. And it's never going to rot, same as that's a titanium club and some silver. We haven't had anything come in this way uh, for enemies recently, which is unfortunate. Not as entertaining as it could be, I guess. Speaking of which, the Orion installation. They are drop potting in. Everyone needs to get in immediately. Uh, 
including, well, the animals should go. Go, go, go. I didn't look at the, uh, they'll prepare for other attack. Uh, that's fine. We could, they're going to prepare. Uh, we don't need everyone drafted, then, but I want the animals in. Um, Willa, you can mana mortar, and I think Rad could mana mortar. And I'm sure Mosquito would like to play with a mortar, and why doesn't Cody come in and do a mortar? So they, wow, they are a little more geared than I would expect. That's cool, I'll take it. It's funny that we just complained about it. Oh, we got one. And we shattered a shield and two were injured. There's another one. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they're totally dead. Uh, well, we'll be cleaning up three other dead bodies here in just a moment. Here they come. Okay, so let's actually plan this out a little bit. I think most, they will probably die most of the way in. They might actually make it in. Um, why on earth aren't you? Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. We'll see. Let's see. How far do we think they'll make it before they decide to run? I need that. Yeah, I needed him to go. I want some of these OC defense rifles. They got little small ones, too. We need to be ready to run them down. Because they're probably... Oh, he collapsed on the way. Nelly's just dodging there. Good job, Nelly. There's a fire somewhere. Why? Why? You know I have wooden walls. You're a jerk. Nelly's gonna make it through? I am surprised. Except for Nelly. Yeah, Nelly's down. And Yoshi might make it through as well. Then we're gonna have to wait for Ben. Oh, Yoshi died. Come on, Benjamin. It's your turn. Pick one. Which one would you like to uh, fall apart on? I need to cut that tree. To go put out your fire that you started. Oh, you decided to steal what you can and run. Well, that's not going to bode well for you. Undraft all of you as well. Oh, he collapsed. Okay. Um, let's just... So we need Finley. I don't know. Did we kill? We probably. Whoever was the family member probably didn't survive this, unfortunately for them. Stripped beforehand. Fortunately, neither of them survived. I would have liked to have uh, borrowed their exoskeleton. I guess we'll call it borrowing. I don't know that we would have returned it. Just saying. How are we doing out here? Whoa, they're at it. I did not think they were... They moved pretty quick down there. So we're going to be doing that encounter in just a moment here. Uh, we still are running through a volcanic winter. Darn. Just thought I'd point what, why is Bowman swimming? Bowman is swimming in 42 degree weather. Okay. Oop, pause. Where is the incapacitator? So, um, okay, that's fine, but what can we offer help? What else we got to deal with here? Doesn't look like much else is here. I picked the one guy that I probably shouldn't have picked off for help, but that's okay. Okay, so Cohen has joined us. That's good news. I don't think I want to harvest anything while I'm here, so let's uh, go to the world map. 
and do a reform. Everybody can go, so that's good news. And then I think there was like some slag chunks. That's about it. I'm not going to take anything else. Kind of a lackluster. We get a person, I guess. That's cool. Uh, you guys can head home. And it's going to take you four days. And you have how much food? Days of food, five. Uh, it's a little tight. But it is what it is at this point. Ooh, an orbital factory. Now, we remember that Ver, who's currently traveling. Oh, that's depressing. Well, I Rabanio is just fine at it, so Rabanio can do it, but I forgot that Ver is out traveling. Whoa. Cycle ship. Outside the walls? Outside the walls. Uh, well, we're going to have to take care of that one here in just a minute. Um, we can probably just mortar it to all get out and be okay. So, anything here? Oh, they have, they have some of the stuff that we do need. I don't know what I need in total. I think I need like two of you and maybe like 10 of you. That's expensive. That's okay. We'll see if there's some stuff we can sell to make that back. All right. Well, uh, you know how we were negative 4,000. Well, now we're positive 3,000. So I found a ton of just junk that we needed to get rid of. We were a little overwhelmed uh, with the amount of stuff, and I, I don't know if this is enough magnetic coin computer components, but I think it's a good start. And I bought a few other things and cleaned out a few other things. So now this is a lot cleaner. <laughs> Not a ton, but a lot. Uh, we kept some of the other stuff, and we found a, it looks like a trade caravan. Let's see. They have some meat for sale, which is always nice. Some berries... I'm carrying berries. Mm, typically there's not much out here, so we'll just move on. And they can keep going. So um, we're going to bombard this thing next time. Yep, we've done good. Mm, new lovers right there, Molina, and uh, tried to attract Rachel by telling a tale about masculinity. Rachel was attracted and is now Melina's lover. Well, there you go. Uh, I think that's a great spot to pause. We've done uh, a lot in this session, that's for sure. And uh, we're in a good spot. So with that, I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching this episode of RimWorld. The mod list is in the description below. If you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to be notified when new videos are posted, ring that little bell below. Additionally, you can follow my social media channels. Links are in the video description. Lastly, if you would like to support the channel and get free stuff, check out my affiliate link section in the description below. Have a great day.